Introducing the TCT Material Transporter System, the first automated cutting and material handling system ever created specifically for the truss industry. The reliability of TCT machines has made TCT manufacturing the most trusted name in the business. The development of this machine will forever make TCT synonymous with the new generation of truss plants. The TCT material transporter system is a logical, common sense system that cuts out the age-old material handling bottlenecks that have plagued the truss industry for decades. The process is simple. First, TCT software sorts cut lists for optimal cutting based on build order for the jig. Then, it produces a pick list in the cut order. The operator pulls lumber from full bunks and places it on automated feeders which advance the lumber to the saw when the software sends a signal for more wood. After material is cut by TCT's linear feed saw, it is transported in build order down an automated conveyor line and ejected to a staging roller table that is positioned within easy reach of the jig at the gantry table. You know, it's one of the biggest areas is labor, and labor gets so tight, I'm really interested in taking out lots of areas. The bunk feeding helps take it out because I'm not double handling and trying to get these carousels going around. The auto feeder is going to keep me from having to put my wood in the front manually, and it's going to help cue that up. I mean, really, that auto feeder lets me take that online process and separate it, making an offline process to get the uptime of that saw up there. Then on the back side, I'm taking that Sawyer, and they can now check that output and then be merging it with all the other things. So as an overall labor savings, I'm probably pulling 20 to 25 percent of the people out of my process as a whole, from picking lumber all the way back to the fabricator. I would suspect, I would expect 15, 20 percent increase in production, definitely, because of uh, uh, less people involved in, in actually physically having to do that stuff, you know? Going out looking for lumber and, and going and, and banding lumber and cut lumber and, and placing it on. Because what happens, an individual will take an individual piece and put it someplace and then move and, and keep on doing that instead of keeping it there at the saw and then moving it and getting it banded up like you have over there. It saves time, saves operation, and things can be flowing through automatically. I, I expect at least 15 point set, probably more. I, I would expect more about being conservative on it right now. To truly appreciate how efficiently the TCT material transport system operates, one must compare how it works versus some of the traditional methods truss plants use to handle material. Traditional plants must select certain lumber for certain component saws. Lumber is picked by length and grade from various storage areas and then staged at the saw before cutting can begin. Material must be called and crowned and then moved to the saw area. To move the material, some plants simply load up a forklift, others use carts, and some even use expensive lumber retrieval equipment. Meanwhile, with TCT's bunk carts, picking material is done on the fly. Material of any standard length is immediately culled as it is loaded. After optimizing the cut list, TCT software creates a pick list in the cut order for the TCT saw. And, as you can see, one operator can easily load two TCT auto feeders while the loaded material is automatically pulled into the cutting chamber. Comparison number two. Using sawhorses and live decks are typical methods for feeding traditional component saws. These methods call for a significant amount of time and manual labor, requiring operators to bring in specific length material and place it close to the saw. These methods also require operators to manually feed the saw. Although some component saws are computerized, batching is typically organized so that material is cut based on minimal saw setup time. Build order is typically not addressed, leading to additional labor when it comes to sorting the material after it is cut. In contrast, TCT's auto feeders advance preloaded material to the saw. Instead of an operator handling the lumber, it is automatically fed into the saw the moment the TCT software sends the signal for more wood. TCT machinery sets the most efficient production pace possible, reducing the likelihood of operator error or inexperience slowing down the cutting process. Since the saw is automatically fed, it requires only one operator. Cutting order is not only organized and optimized for better lumber usage, but it also takes into account build order for the jig. 
Each piece of cut material is imprinted with usage instructions as it moves through the saw. Comparison number three. Traditionally, after each board is cut, it is manually processed, sorted, and stacked. Some material is stacked on carts, while others are stacked on pallets. The material is then moved away from the saw to a staging area, where it is stored until it is needed at the production tables. Next, the material is typically moved to the production lines and is used directly from the stacks, or it is laid out manually in build order near the tables. The TCT material transporter, however, moves material directly from the saw and down a motorized conveyor. The cut material is then automatically transferred directly to the building station. The transporter is fitted with a strapping machine so that all the boards for a single truss are bound together, allowing for easier transfer to the tables. All material is ejected at the proper building station in the proper build order, one truss at a time. Comparison number four. One of the most important benefits of the TCT material transporter is the time-saving effect it has at the gantry tables. Rather than sorting through unorganized stacks of material and guessing where each component should be placed, crews working the tables behind a TCT material transporter receive one truss worth of bound material, organized in build order. In this side-by-side -side comparison of truss assembly crews, Watch how quickly the team working with pre-sorted material is able to start building their truss. While one crew is setting and securing components in place, the other is still searching through a stack of material for the correct pieces. Most truss plant managers would agree that manually organizing components for assembly is the most inefficient step of the truss making process. TCT's solution to this problem? Remove it altogether. The material transporter produces bound truss components that are stacked in build order and ready for immediate assembly. As you can see, there is little doubt how much time is saved when crews at the gantry tables can skip the material sorting process. Let's recap the number of times lumber is handled using a traditional material handling method. Pick lumber from storage area onto a forklift. Move lumber from the forklift to a live deck. Move lumber from live deck to feed a component saw. Catch lumber from a component saw and stack on carts. Move carts to a staging area. Move carts from staging to building stations. Sort lumber in build order at the jig. Place sorted lumber in the jig. Now, let's recap the number of times lumber is handled using the TCT transporter system. Pick lumber from full bunks and place on the TCT auto feeder. Pick up lumber at the build station and place it in the jig at the table. Even for a smaller truss plant like ours, we can see it benefiting us and paying for itself in a short period of time um, due to the, the volume you can produce with less amount of people. Because with the TCT system, it allows us to, instead of building a 200-piece jigsaw puzzle, we're going to build only 20-piece jigsaw puzzles, truss by truss, so we don't have to sort through all the pieces. Also, when we combine it all together, we're going to be combining it with our plates, with our mets. It's all going to put it together in one package. And what this one package does is kind of like the automotive industry. We're going to let our builders build more often, not necessarily faster, but they're going to get everything that they need right with them. And we're going to, in some cases with our builders, double the numbers on our tables because we're getting what they need, when they need, right when they need it. I think the saw has changed the way things are done in this industry. For being in the industry for uh, as long as I've been in, it has changed the way people think about cutting and material handling uh, to the production. It's definitely an improvement, a, a large improvement. In fact, it's a whole new way of life. Uh, in the truss industry and I, I think it's definitely good. As you can see, TCT machinery makes the processing of uncut and cut material much more efficient. Again, the operator simply pulls the lumber from full bunks and places it on the auto feeder. That's where the material transport system takes over. The auto feeder then advances lumber to the saw after receiving a signal for more material. After material is cut by TCT's linear feed saw, it is transported in build order down an automated conveyor line and ejected to a staging roller table near the gantry table. At every phase of the process, time and labor are minimized.
TCT's material transport system is the most efficient and cost-effective truss building machine on the market. For more information about how these machines work or how to purchase them, please visit our website at www.tctmanufacturing.com or call us at 352-735-5070.